Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, another Kid Rock song. This is um, by request uh, from Matt. So um, I'm going to do two different parts for this song because, first of all, it's tuned in E flat. So I know, Matt, you were saying that you're having a problem figuring out. That's probably why it's tuned differently. And also, there's a guitar in there with a, that's capoed. So it's tuned to E flat. There's a capo. You're going to have problems trying to figure out exactly what's going on there. But um, basically, uh, tune to E flat. And I'm going to show you how to play it in standard. And then I'll throw the capo on and show you the chords. Now, any chords that I don't go over with the capo, just move it up a whole step. In other words, if it's an A chord, if you're capoed at the second fret, it would be a G chord. You're just going to move that A. I'm sorry, move it down a whole step, not up a whole step. Okay, so here's start off with the intro. Okay, let's. Oh, I'm not gonna have tabs for this too, so so check it out. And I'm also using um, my Music Man. This uh, whew, man, me and this guitar has had many many gigs. This is my main guitar I use for playing out. Also the Tele, but um, I've had this thing refretted. I mean, I've beat the hell out of this guitar, and it just keeps rocking right along. All right, enough of my guitar. So it starts off. I'm going to show you uh, standard tuning without the capo first. It's an A chord. It's just an A. Look at the, the tab for the rhythm. You're just going to play the A, then you're going to hammer. Check out the tab. So it's... I like to play it with some uh, some mutes like you could do it either way but um, yeah that's the beginning and uh, next I'll show you the capo okay here we go with the capo on a second fret same exact rhythm get this in a shot here Except you're just going to be playing a G chord. You might be familiar. I know. I think I'm pretty sure you play the acoustic. So I remember you asking me a question about um, some about acoustic before doing some riffs. So you probably should be familiar with using the capo. So now we're just going to go to a G chord, open G chord, and then you're going to go to something like an A minor seven, and you're just going to hit hit them open. And then you're going to hammer. You're playing the same notes. You're just using the capo. It's a little easier. So you got... And that's the capo part. Okay, then there's a little lead guitar. You wouldn't have distorted guitar going there, it would be clean, but I was just showing it. So you got, I got the, uh, I wrote this out in tabs, so I don't have to go over the uh, notes. The main thing is, the bend, I'm going to bend up a half step. Once you bend up a half step, you're going to pick it again, then release it. And just follow the tab. And then it goes into the verse. And...
Okay, coming out of the verse, going into the pre-chorus, there's a little riff. Alright, so it's just... Uh -huh. You know what, I'll write this out for tab two. It's a D, C sharp, B, A, E. So you're just going from uh, E to D, and then you're going to play F sharp minor, E, and D. And then it's going to go into into the course. Okay, going into the course. So play Okay, that last time it goes, there's a push, it's on the upbeat, that D chord. The first time he plays it, it's like, second time it's like, it's called a push, he's just, he's playing, he's, he's playing it before the beat, on the down. Um, you know, there's some riffs in there, let me go over a few of them and I'll throw a couple up there. Okay, here is one of the riffs. So you got, let me make sure I got that in there. So all you got is um, fifth fret. You got the E and the A, first and second strings played together. The dyads, check out the any kind of lesson I got on the dyads and also the country riffs, a lot of dyads in that band on the run, blah, blah, blah. This is right out of that idea, right off this record. So you're gonna you're gonna hit the um, fifth fret, first and second string, and you're gonna slide up to the seventh fret, back to the fifth fret. Then you're gonna play the third string, fourth fret B, and you're gonna bend it up. Same thing, but you're gonna bend this a full step. And then at the top of the bend, you're going to hit it again and then release it. And then you're going to play the fourth string, fourth fret F sharp to E, which is fourth string second fret. So you got. And it's. Fret, or I'm sorry, third string, second fret A, a little vibrato. All right, that's that riff. Okay, this riff. You're gonna play fifth string, seventh fret. You're gonna play E to F sharp on a fifth string. So you're going from the seventh to the ninth. Then you're gonna go to the fourth string. You're gonna play seventh to the ninth, A and B. 
Then when you hit the B, you're going to hit it again. And then you're going to slide to the fourth, we're all on the fourth string here, a fourth string 11th fret C sharp. So you're going to hit that B twice. Make sure you hit the B twice or, or the timing's not going to be right. You can even hammer it. Slide to the C sharp. Then you're going to play the third string, ninth fret E. Then you're going to do a quick slide to F sharp. Uh, third string, 11th fret F sharp. To the second string, 10th fret A. Back to F sharp. It's, it's a quick slide from E to F sharp. It's F sharp. It's not a slow slide. It's like... Then you're going to bend the 12th fret, 2nd string, B to C sharp. Back to B, release to A. on the second string, give it a little bit of vibrato. Okay, this other riff, this is kind of like, uh, think Johnny B. Good. You're playing at the um, fifth fret, first and second string. Guess what? A dyad. And then you're going to play it twice. It's very Chuck Berry-ish. So you're going twice, bend twice, bend twice. And then you're going to play um, at the, uh, oh God, where are we at here? 8th fret. 8th fret, 1st and 2nd strings. You're just going to go right down. Almost like if you're in an A Dorian pattern. Just playing the notes together, more dyads. And you're going to play the second and third strings here, seventh fret, D and F sharp. So you got. Then you're going to play second and third string again, fifth fret, C and E. And you're going to play 4th string, 7th fret, A. Then you're going to play... You're going to play like... Uh, you're going from minor 3rd to major 3rd here. 3rd um, string, 5th uh, uh, fret, and the 2nd string, 5th fret, the uh, C and E. But you're going to hammer. You're going to hammer just the 3rd uh, string, 5th fret to 6th uh, fret from C to C sharp. You're going from a minor third to a major third. So you got... Let that E on the second string ring, ring out as well. And then you're going to resolve it on the fourth string, seventh fret A. It's kind of like a Chuck Berry riff. Okay. Okay, then you got the bridge. Real simple. You got an E. D. And then you got my battery is gonna die. <laughs> okay, so you're just going back to the um, the chorus. You're gonna play that rhythm, and there's a guitar solo. Let me check it out.
right, that's it for uh, one more song. Pretty cool tune, a lot of uh, cool guitar work, a lot of dyads, as usual, in this style of music. If you're going to learn like rock and roll, um, classic rock, country rock, it's you, you got to kind of know these dyads. But they're really fun to play. Once you, once you get it under your hands, uh, you can just throw them in anywhere you want. But you, they're all based around chords. You have to know the chord because they're all based off the chord shape. So it's important to... Um, it's not like you can improvise on some stuff where you can just play the scales and you, you, you don't even have to know the chord, uh, the chord progression sometimes. As long as you know the, the key center, you can kind of use your ear and follow it around. With dyads, it's a little different. You really got to pay more attention to what's going, the chords that are passing by. But I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you learned anything, you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, please like them. And that's it. I'm out of here.